Google has just dropped one of its most powerful AI tools yet. And it's not a demo, it's live, it's fast, and it's built to handle the kind of work most people thought only teams of humans could manage. Jules 2.0 can dive into massive projects, understand every detail, fix problems before you even spot them, plan your next moves and keep running in the background while you focus on something else. That's using the same cutting edge AI powering Google's most advanced systems and the way it blends into real world workflows is about to change how people build, create and ship ideas at scale. The idea behind Jules from the start was simple. Give developers an AI coding agent that can work in the background, handle the grunt work and let you focus on the bigger picture. And now with version 2.0, they've packed in a lot of new tools. Pull request integration, AI powered code reviews, environment snapshots, even built in web surfing for documentation. All in one platform without having to juggle five different apps and a dozen browser tabs. Now when Google says AI coding agent, they mean it. When you give Jules a task, it goes way beyond returning a quick code snippet. It clones your entire code base into a secure Google Cloud virtual machine, processes the full context of your project, and can keep running tasks in the background while you focus on other work. It's designed to be both reactive and proactive. You can give it a prompt and let it run with it, or set it up to handle certain updates and checks automatically. It'll even explain the logic behind the changes it's making. And if you want, it can generate audio summaries so you or your team can get quick spoken word updates on what's been done. One of the things they've nailed here is pull request management. Normally you're bouncing between your IDE, GitHub, maybe some internal review tools. Every little context switch takes time. Jules 2.0 lets you handle pull requests directly inside the platform. You can open, review, and merge without leaving. And if you're in a feature branch, merging into the main branch is just a few clicks away. That might not sound dramatic at first, but for teams doing frequent merges, that's a lot of wasted motion gone. Another big upgrade is environment snapshots. This one's gonna save a ton of headaches if you've ever had to stop mid project and then spend half a day recreating your setup later. Jules 2.0 lets you capture the exact state of your development environment, your VM configuration, dependencies, settings, so you can freeze it in time. Test a new library, switch to another project, then come back days or weeks later and restore everything exactly as it was. No more, what version of this package was I on again, moments. Task planning also got a serious boost. The new interactive task planning is all about real-time adjustments. In a typical agile workflow, priorities can shift weekly, daily, sometimes even hourly. Jules 2.0 lets you change task timelines, dependencies, deliverables, everything on the fly directly in the platform. That's a big deal for larger teams that need to pivot quickly without derailing everyone's schedule. And then there's something that's going to feel almost too convenient once you get used to it. Integrated web surfing for documentation. If you're integrating an API or troubleshooting a dependency, Jules can pull up the latest official docs, code examples, and guides without you having to open another browser window. You stay inside the development environment, get what you need, and keep moving. It's a subtle thing, but it keeps you in flow. But real quick, if you've been following all this AI news and thinking, okay, this is cool, but what can I actually do with it? You're definitely not alone. That's why we created the AI Income Blueprint. It shows you seven ways regular people are using AI to build extra income streams on the side. No tech skills needed and you can automate everything pretty easily. The guide contains simple proven methods using tools I often talk about on this channel. Download it free by clicking the link in the description. Testing and previews have been leveled up too. Jules 2.0 works with Playwright for automated browser testing, so you can validate functionality across multiple environments without manually spinning up a bunch of sessions. And before you ship anything, you can generate visual previews and screenshots to make sure everything looks right. That's not just for front-end developers. If you're working on anything with a UI component, this is going to help catch visual issues before they hit production. Now, one of the standout pieces here is what Google calls the critic agent. This is an AI powered code reviewer that uses reinforcement learning to spot bugs, inefficiencies, and potential edge cases in real time. It's not just pointing out syntax errors, it's identifying performance bottlenecks, suggesting optimizations, 
and flagging logic that might break under certain conditions. If you've ever had a senior dev walk through your code line by line and tell you where you're about to shoot yourself in the foot, it's that kind of feedback, but instantly and without waiting for a human review cycle. And it's worth mentioning Jules isn't pretending to replace an entire dev team. Google's been clear about that. It's more of an autonomous teammate that can handle specific, well-defined tasks on its own. You can tell it to create and run unit tests, add a feature, update dependencies, or fix bugs, and it'll get to work while you move on to something else. It's asynchronous, so you're not sitting there waiting for it to respond like you would in a chat interface. The GitHub integration is pretty seamless too. Once you connect your repo, you can assign tasks right from your existing development environment. And Jules will operate on whatever branch you specify. All code changes it proposes are presented for review. You still get the final say before anything is merged, which is important for teams that need to maintain tight control over their code base. Under the hood, everything is powered by Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is Google's most advanced AI model so far. That's what gives Jules the ability to handle complex reasoning tasks, parse large code bases, and keep multiple operations running in parallel without tripping over itself. And with the Ultra plan, you actually get priority access to the latest model version. So as Gemini keeps evolving, you're right there with it. Speaking of plans, the pricing structure is pretty straightforward. Jules is available in regions where Gemini 2.5 Pro is supported, and you need a Google account to use it. The basic option is to get it bundled into a Google One plan. So for $1.99 a month, you get 100 GB of cloud storage, plus Jules with 15 daily tasks and three concurrent tasks. Jump up to Google AI Pro, at $19.99 a month, and you're looking at 100 daily tasks, 15 running at the same time and more advanced model access. Then there's the Ultra tier at $249.99 a month with 300 daily tasks, 60 concurrent, and top priority access to new models as they roll out. If you've been in the beta, the transition to 2.0 is gonna feel like a proper graduation. It's not just the stability improvements, there's an entire layer of workflow integration now. And for new users, getting started is as simple as going to jules.google.com, signing in and linking your GitHub repo. From there, you can pick your default branch, set up your first tasks, and you're off. The only real thing to keep in mind is that crafting precise prompts makes a difference. You've got a daily request limit depending on your plan, so the clearer your instructions, the better Jules can deliver one demo Google showed off during launch was Jules updating a whole code base to a new version of Node.js. It wasn't just swapping out the version number, it handled the compatibility checks, adjusted the dependencies, ran tests, and presented the results for review. That's the kind of task that would normally eat up part of a day for a developer, especially if there are tricky breaking changes to navigate. Because it's operating in its own isolated VM, security is baked into the workflow. Your code is cloned into that environment, Jules does its thing, and you review the results before anything touches your live repo. That separation is important for teams worried about giving an AI too much direct access to production systems. For those wondering how it stacks up against other AI coding assistants, it's in a different lane than something like GitHub Copilot. Copilot is great for inline suggestions while you code. Jules is more about taking entire tasks off your plate and executing them in parallel. And compared to Anthropic's Claude for Code or Windsurf's Editor ID, Google's got the advantage of deep integration with its own ecosystem, Gemini, Google Cloud, Google One, and the ability to leverage massive infrastructure for speed and scale. Look, most people still think AI is some distant future, but regular folks are already using it to build income streams quietly, behind the scenes. If you want to see how they're doing it without tech skills or quitting their job, download the AI Income Blueprint. It's totally free, the link's in the description, but it won't stay free forever. The way Jules blends into different parts of the workflow is what makes it stand out. You might start the day by having it run a batch of browser tests, then switch to using the integrated web search to grab the latest API docs, then drop a pull request review into the queue, all without leaving the platform. And if halfway through you realize you need to change priorities, the interactive task planning lets you reshuffle without breaking stride. 
For solo developers, the appeal is obvious. You get a powerful assistant that doesn't need to be onboarded, doesn't take days off, and can help you ship faster. For teams, it's about reducing friction between steps in the development cycle, keeping environments consistent, and making sure code quality stays high without burning reviewer hours on every small change. That's the rundown on Jules 2.0 and what it brings to the table. If you've been waiting for a coding assistant that actually feels like part of your workflow rather than a side gadget, this is probably the closest thing we've seen yet from Google. Let me know what you think. Could you see this replacing part of your current setup? Or would it just be another tool in the mix? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.